Uh, Shalom Israel, Most High in Christ, bless. I'm Sister Rebecca with uh, from the house of Soldier Yekiel in um, IUIC, Chicago. Oh my Lord, I'm super nervous. <laughs> I don't normally go live, but um, I wanted to get on here and do the Why Did I Join IUIC Challenge. So I'm going to just get straight to the point. Okay, um, why did I join IUIC and how long have uh, I've been with IUIC. So January 2017 is when we started congregating. Shalom, Sister Chava. <laughs> um, prior to actually congregating. And it wasn't really anybody keeping, um, like, well, not keeping, but discussing the laws, like really putting emphasis on the laws and you know, really going into depth with all the information about the laws. It was like a broader um, range of subjects coming out, topics that we could actually learn from. So, you know, it just made sense to go with, you know, a group that you can, uh, Shalom Sister Bot, um, that you can, you know, get more information to better your life, you know. Um, a lot of the other groups were just constantly like cursing people out. <laughs> so it was like, that was just pretty much the bulk of the, you know, um, videos that we saw from other people. So I just, you know, I, I thought that would be great. And, you know, my Lord made the decision and, you know, I just fell in place. I didn't have no problem with that at all. So, you know, um, I'm really excited, you know, that, that's the decision that he made because like after being in the truth for, you know, the time that we've been in, it, it just, you, you see more and it just makes you appreciate even more that you, you know, are with IUIC. Um, no shade to the other schools, but you know, we, we just stuff. <laughs> but anyways, um, the next question is what made you decide to look for the most high? It's crazy because I really was not looking. Um, I had actually kind of gave up. I've always believed in a higher power. But um, like at some point I was like really heavy, heavy into Christianity, like tough. And um, it was it was more so when I was a single mother. And I think the reason why is because it was an emotional attachment. You know, I really wasn't gaining anything from it that can get me the kingdom. And so pretty much my time in the Christian church considered, considered, you know, consisted of just crying, <laughs> you know, about my struggles and everything. Other than that, I can't really say that, you know, I never could say that it was beneficial. So when I met my Lord, and, you know, a lot of those issues I was having wasn't issues anymore. I couldn't find my, you know, my place in the, at, at the church because it was just like, OK, I'm not having that those those same issues. So, like, where do I fit in here now? And I couldn't figure that out. So um, when I left from California, I ended up, you know, coming back home to Illinois, where I'm from or from Chicago. So I ended up coming back here and um, went to Rockford. We were looking for a church home, but it just, it was not working out. We ended up actually going to this Edomite church or white man church. And it was a mess. <laughs> the The pastor was up in there talking in, you know, so-called tongues. And I, I thought that was hilarious. He was like, a shum -na 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 it was just a mess. We were bussing up and it just was like, okay. It just became like entertainment. And I never thought that I would look at that as, you know, that way. I remember as a child, you know, we laughed at that, you know, when they call themselves um, healing people, we would be cracking up, you know, because we knew that stuff was fake. But then you, you know, you become an adult and you got your problems that you're going through now. And, you know, you want to connect to God, but it's like, 
that's that that definitely was not the place so i had a moment in time that i called myself you know thinking about looking into the muslim uh religion that was that that was short-lived so the way that i found uh the truth is i was on uh youtube i was on youtube and i was actually listening to old um testimonials from you know relatives that had actually picked cotton and everything and um i've always been interested in that because my great grandmother she used to tell me stories uh about you know when she used to pick cotton uh at that time they were doing like crop sharing so you know she was considered free but you know we really didn't have that many other options and um her mother was a slave so that's not that many generations ago and then on my uh that's on my maternal side and then my father's side his maternal side his his grandmother was um conceived from uh one of the overseers on the plantation you know had a situation with you know one of the so-called workers and you know she ended up having to flee from the south because you know that was illegal so it's always been like embedded in me to want to learn about my history and just like very interested you know in our past because i've always wondered like okay prior to slavery prior to us getting on the slave ships where did we come from who were we you know if all of us lived in this spot lived in you know this region obviously we had identities we weren't just there you know we had you know we we live so who were we prior to that what was our culture you know so i've always like been into that type of stuff and um i'm i'm on the internet one day looking you know listening to that and then i saw a video of this guy that um he used to do videos he's not in the truth anymore lord's will that brother repent but um he was he was going over deuteronomy 28 and y'all might know him it's a brother like real low hair glasses I, I hear a lot of people you know saying that they that's how they found out the truth and he was bringing it out he was bringing out deuteronomy 28 and that brings me to the next question what scripture sealed the deal um for me to walk in this truth it definitely was deuteronomy 28 and 68 that one in particular and the reason why that one in particular is because i was already on the internet you know looking at videos about slavery so it just, it really tied it together when he brought, you know, that scripture out. Cause it's like, wow, this is in the Bible. I never, ever knew that. I didn't even, as much as I was going to the church, I didn't even know who Israel was. I had never heard of Israel ever in my life. So that just goes to show you how much you really are, you know, um, information they're giving you, you know, in the Christian church. I didn't even know that. I, I never knew anything about Israel. So, um, yeah, so that's, that's how I found, that's how I found the truth, came across the video. Um, what makes you continue to stay with IUIC? I mean, there's nowhere else to go. <laughs> there's nowhere else to go, you know, and I love my family. I love it. Oh my gosh. Like we have so much fun, you know, it's not just like a lot of my relatives.